Hey there, here are some cool things that the FL Studio Mixer can do but you probably do not know about. So the first cool feature is loading one effect on multiple inserts at once. So let's say I have auto-tune right here and I do my settings right, I have my settings and I like how it sounds on one vocal, not to copy it to multiple vocals. So instead of going to load it on each vocal and building the settings all over again, all I have to do is just highlight the parts I want to send them to and then I could just click and then drag and drop and as you can see, it's going to load up on each and every insert. Just make sure it delete it from the original track so it doesn't appear twice. And if I come to these inserts, you see the exact same settings. If I come here again, the exact same settings. So this can save you a lot of time when you're trying to apply the same effect across different sounds or inserts on your mixer. Now the second tip, and I'm surprised many people do not know this, is that you can actually change the size of your mixer. Now I'm not talking about just doing this. You know what I mean? We all know about this, but you know you can actually change how big your mixer looks. And this can help with visibility issues and even see more features. For example, when it's on compact and everything is so squashed, when I come to wide, you can see I have better details on everything and you know I can move my mixer more freely as well. So you can move it at any how you want. You can even do extra large so you can even see your plugins that appear, the name of your plugin chain that appear, for example, if I load up EQ, you can see EQ loads up here. Now, if you've ever export tracks in FL Studio, you typically see two main files, master and current. Now, most people don't understand what master and current mean. Now, master just simply means this is how the entire sound is coming out from your FL Studio. This is how it sounds like. Now, with current, some sounds that may not be linked to your mixer will not be exported with the current sound, okay? Or if you have a processing that is not enabled, it will not be printed into your current. Now, if you make songs like I do in FL Studio, I'm sure you must have heard this tip where they say, always do a mono test for your mix. So instead of going out to buy a mono speaker, you can actually do a mono test in FL Studio and it's really easy. You don't need this fancy plug, you don't need a special plugin. All you have to do is make sure you have your, mi your mixer on at least the wide view so you can have a better view of the knobs. And you come down here that has the stereo separation knob. You can see it's at the top left of my screen. And all, and all I have to do is just collapse it. When it's 100% merged, that means it's now in mono. And if I do it like this, 100% separated, that means it's now really wide, okay? And you can use this to enhance, to do some stereo enhancements in your boss or in your master in FL Studio. So this can help create some separations or again, do a mono test to hear how sounds are when they are collapsed into the middle. So before we go any further, I want to let you know you can take our online courses that you learn how to make beats, how to mix or how to master from scratch from beginner levels all the way to advanced levels. Now these course are well detailed and they're suitable for anybody who is interested in getting great results. Okay, so you have to just click the link in the description and it'll be taken to our course page and you can sign up and get started. It's 100% online and you learn at your own pace and you even earn a certificate when you complete the course successfully. All right, let's get back to the video. Now another tip that many people don't know about their first today is that you can actually drag multiple faders down instead of, you know, adjusting, you know, gradually, especially if you are trying to get maybe your drums to come down to a certain level. So instead of coming to adjust everything one by one, which may ruin your mix, you can just highlight the tracks you want to drop down and drop drop it down. They'll all come down relatively. Okay, It's not going to ruin your actual balance. It's going to bring everything down while maintaining their respective, while maintaining their respective position. So you can see this didn't go down compared to this. They are all still relative. Okay, so you can take it up, you can take it down, take it up, take it down. Personally, I like to organize my mixer tracks when I'm mixing, especially color coding. This helps me visualize my mix. Now, instead of coming to color everything, you know, one by one, or change color, maybe I like this, right? I don't have to do that. All I have to do is highlight maybe my drum tracks in the mixer, right? Then I can just, to, by the way, to highlight, just hold Command and Shift or Control and Shift and just click each one or sweep across. And then just simply right click, then come to change color and you can change the color to any color you want. So let's say I want this color and accept. You can see they're all color coded. And you can also do a random color. It's going to give you like a rainbow color. So that's also really cool. Another interesting feature on the FL Studio Mixer that I like is you can actually move mixer inserts. For example, if maybe, you know, I have some of my drum elements here and I want to bring them here, or I have any parts of my mix and I want to bring them to the left-hand side, it's really easy. All I have to do is just hold option or alternate and press my left arrow key and then keep moving left or right. And you can see it's going to come in between, between the other part of the mixer. So you can use this to organize your mixing session. So again, it's more organized when you're mixing. 
And the last but not the least, which most people are not aware of, because most of us don't use touchscreen laptops or computers, is you can actually control your FL Studio mixer with multi-touch. If I enable this, now if I had a touch screen, which I don't have, I would have showed it to you, but it does work. If I click this, I can actually use my fingers and adjust multiple points in the mixer at once. I don't have to let go of one. For example, I could my hand could be on this mixer while I'm also adjusting the pan knob at once. So that's really cool. Especially if you're doing like live mixing in an event with FL Studio. So you can be mo controlling multiple features in the mixer at once. So let me know in the comments which of these features are new to you. If you found this helpful, like and subscribe for more tutorials, tips and tricks. Cheers.